At Moe's, our honestly awesome food is truly groundbreaking. Come in today for a burrito bowl freshly made just for you. You know, CIAA old rivalry. You know, a lot of people still get into that stuff. So uh, it was a good game for that, for that reason. You know, I think, I think our guys played pretty well. You know, uh, still, obviously, as a coach, you can still pick out some mistakes. But I think overall, we did a pretty good uh, job. Yeah, no matter who you play, you're going to come out with the intensity like we're playing with Duke and Kentucky with anybody. And, um, I feel like we executed that tonight. It was fun to come home, the final play for the whole crowd once again. It was a tough loss, but it's a learning experience for the team. We, um, we young, we got a brand new team. We got a uh, coach change in um, like two weeks before the season started. So we're just trying to get the hands done. Talk about Jonathan's play tonight. This is in the zone tonight. You know, this is one of those nights that he might not ever have again. You know, hopefully he does, but he might not ever have it again. And he's just zone. I mean, you know, he's our second leading scorer. Well, he might be our leading scorer now, but um, he, so he can score the basketball. And he's had good games last year as well, but. Tonight he was just in the zone, and uh, you know, 22 in the first half was just amazing. Um, you know, I think second half he started forcing it a little bit. I think when he got closer to like the 40 number, you know, that's like the magical number for players and stuff like that. So, you know, we just took him out, let him calm down. You know, 34 was enough. It was all right, and just you know, think about the next game. Uh, my role tonight was to lead my team in every aspect. Just try to coach Tony before the game, lead us, lead us on defense. Lead us, lead us through the game, no matter what. So I came out with the focus to say, I'm going to try to do everything right for my team and win, put them to follow me. And uh, I got hot tonight, so the, the basket felt huge. So I, I got in a little groove. I felt good. Um, you know, if I had an open look, my teammates found me, so I let, that, let it fly. How was it playing in front of the home crowd? It was, it was exciting. It felt like back in high school, junior college. Talk about your journey to this point, man. Um, it was rough. It was kind of rough. Coming out of high school, people didn't think I was going to go to school at all. But uh, I got an opportunity to go to a junior college called Brian Stroud with Coach CJ. Uh, then I left there and I just stayed focused. Just talk to me about the upcoming schedule. Upcoming schedule is tough because all of it is on the road and we get 10 days on the road together. Um, you know, with that being said, it's going to be a lot of team bonding as well. But, you know, playing Vanderbilt and then Butler and then going out to Vegas and playing, uh, you know, those four teams out there potentially, it's going to be all tough games, you know, and um, especially the two coming up, Vanderbilt and Butler. Um, well, actually, our first Vegas game is Bucknell is a great program. So it's going to be a tough, tough, tough game, um, tough, tough stretch, I should say. Hopefully we'll, have, we'll be at full strength and we have our players back. As you know, as you can see, we're missing a lot of guys. Right now we're only playing with nine guys. And honestly, we haven't played five-on-five five basketball in a long time. Like, just, just the games are what we're playing five-on-five. Five, so. Hopefully those guys will come back uh, Thursday for practice and we can, you know, start sharpening our stuff before Friday. You know, the next three games are real tough games. Talk to me about how the way you guys game plan for these D1 schools. Um, our game plan doesn't change no matter who it is. We still come with the same focus and the mentality to say we're going to win no matter who the opponent is. What would you tell another young man that has to travel on the same road that you have had to travel? Enjoy the journey. Make, make your own story. Everybody's story is not the, the glory. Sometimes you gotta get you gotta get your hands dirty and do it the hard way. What can we expect from you from this point? Uh, you expect good things. Uh, I'm learning to become a leader. Uh, I, I expect to get my team to championship this year.